Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. This video session is a continuation session related to Salesforce multi-factor authentication. In this session, we will be doing the end-to-end -end demo on how to enable multi-factor authentication and how the user interface will be for our users whom the multi-factor authentication is enabled. Now let's uh, recap of what we have discussed in our earlier session. We just discussed what is MFA. Why do we need the multi-factor authentication? When is that Salesforce is going to enforce the multi-factor authentication? And we have also discussed the scope of the multi-factor authentication. And then we have also discussed how to enable it and what and all are the different verification options. So when I go through the slide deck, we have just described about what is multi-factor authentication. It is one of the easiest and the most effective ways to help users prevent unauthorized account access and safeguard your Salesforce data. And uh, we all know that um, this multi-factor authentication is going to be enforced starting February 1, 2022, right? And uh, since we have less time, it is always better to start taking a look into what are the next steps needed to enable the multi-factor authentication or to roll out the multi-factor authentication to our users. So we need to prepare a plan for the multi-factor authentication rollout. And also it is very important that we communicate this specific change to all our users who are using this uh, Salesforce, right? So prior communication plays a very vital role here. And uh, when you communicate, we also have to ensure that you are establishing a strategy, which is very important for the smoother transition of uh, or rollout of the multi-factor authentication to our users. And it is always the best practice to prepare up a standard operating procedures on how to enable the multi-factor authentication and what and all are the various verifications options that are provided by Salesforce? Who can use what and you know those the, uh, users can make use of those verifications options? And what and all are the steps required to use those um, verifications options? So you can prepare up a standard operating procedures for the same. So that way, what we are trying to do is we are helping our Salesforce resource, who, whether it is from the admin side or from the user side, uh, for the smoother transitioning of the multi-factor authentication or the roll or roll out or enrollment related to the multi-factor authentication without any issues so the step one the most important step for the system admin is to create a new permission set for the multi-factor authentication and once you create the permission set you have to assign a permission set to the users who will be required to log in using the multi-factor authentication all the users that is all the internal users as described here right all the internal users will be required to log in using the multi-factor authentication so for all these internal users and the production users you have to give the permission set that we are creating and so that they will be logging into the salesforce using the multi-factor authentication okay so now what we will do is and uh, in today's de demo, what we are going to do, we are going to install the Salesforce Authenticator app. So in order to save the time, what I've done is I've already downloaded the Salesforce Authenticator app in my mobile phone. And I will just try to walk you through on what and all the steps I've followed for the Salesforce Authenticator app. Now, let us log in into my Salesforce dev app. Yeah, and I will try to create the permission set. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I have gone to my Salesforce DevOps. I have already created the permission set called as multi-factor authentication. And when I go to the system permissions, when I scroll down under the system, I go to the system permission. I have enabled that permission set, which is updated, which I talked in my slide deck. So when I click on control F factor, here you see this multi-factor authentication for the user interface login. So this is the one that you need to enable for the multi-factor authentication. So it clearly says that required users to provide an additional verification method in addition to the username and password when logging into the Salesforce organization. So this is what you have to enable as a step one. So that is what the admin has to do. As a step two, admin needs to assign this particular permission set to the users. So what I have done is I have assigned this permission set to the specific user sfdc one stop at gmail.com. So I have assigned this permission set to the users. I've also assigned this to this, but we will be logging in using this specific user. Okay. So once I have assigned this, now when I try to log into the user, sorry, when I try to log in into my Salesforce, 
i will be asked these are the steps that i will be asked so that is from the salesforce admin perspective now from the user side what the user has to do is user has to download the salesforce authenticator app from the play store or the app store if at all you are using the iphone you can make use of the app store if you are using any samsung mobile phone or any other mobile phone you can go to the play store uh, key in the word called as a salesforce authenticator and then download the salesforce authenticator then these are the steps that you, you need to perform it will ask you to enter your mobile phone number it is you know it is uh, not a required one if you want you can register it if you don't want you can easily skip it this is the place wherein when the users try to log in into the salesforce it will be asked to click on the add an account so what i will try to do is i will log out from this account and i will try to log in again and we will see how differently our ui will be looking like so i am trying to log in to my salesforce um, authenticator app or what i can also do is i can use the incognito window and try to log in again i will not be using that particular one i will use this when i try to log in the screen will be totally different now because the multi factor authentication is already enabled so i have my mobile phone on the other end when i click on the add account so if you recall we have this specific step right let's click on present mode this step this third screen when i click on this add an account it will ask me to enter the two phrase word i am clicking the add an account on my mobile phone so i got a two phrase word as bad discussion okay when i got this particular two phrase word and and i click on connect again what will happen it will a pop up will be coming to your mobile phone which says connect account and it will give you a username then there are there will be two buttons which will you be which you will be seeing on your mobile phone one is the cancel button and the connect button since you are connecting it for the first time click on connect when i click on connect see the screen on the screen here what is happening immediately uh, say multi factor authentication it is authenticated your access and you are able to log in into your salesforce so now let us go back to our presentation so here we have did all of the steps which is performed which is updated in the salesforce authenticator this particular slide deck download open the browser enter the username and password then on the mobile phone app follow the same steps which i have mentioned here then i've copied all of this user will be able to log in into the salesforce authenticator uh, say salesforce successfully so now what this is the step one that is first time registration but you will be always be required to log in into your salesforce right then and there you will be trying to you can you will log out then you will try to log in so that process is called as a re-verification process so now we will also see how the re-verification process will work like okay so let's go back what i will do is i will try to log out again and we'll try to log in imagine that you were inactive for a couple of time and then you wanted to log in again so you are trying to log in i have my mobile phone accessible with me it's already opened so here it is asking me check your mobile device so i got a notification on my phone it says that login into the salesforce it is asking me whether i should act, approve the request or i need to deny the request if at all you see that this is something which is you know unauthorized access you can go and deny the access that way you are protecting your salesforce data but now at this moment it is a valid access right then you are you have to, you i am try i am going get an approving the request when i approve the request it is authenticated successfully and the user will be able to log in into the salesforce successfully that is what we have discussed here also this what this step what we have updated in the slide deck we have you know shown in the demo so every time you try to log in into the salesforce second step that is re-verification will come into the picture you will have to just approve or deny the request that is whether the first person who logged in into the system is a correct person or not that is authorized access or unauthorized access according to that you can verify your 
uh, account so this is how you are safing guard your access your account you are protecting your account and uh, be, because of this multi factor authentication the security enforced is more stronger than the earlier okay so this is how you will be able to uh, enable or login into the multi login into your salesforce org when your multi factor authentication is uh, enabled so let me close this okay now when i go back to my account and when i try to login into my same account okay here again you see every time you try to log in to your salesforce it will keep on asking me to approve the access from my mobile phone until and unless i approve it i will not be able to log in into my salesforce now approved i have approved the access using my mobile phone it has given the tick mark saying that authentication is approved and then i will be able to log in into your salesforce now let us go back to the user setting my user record when i go to settings advanced user settings here you see it's keep on saying that the authentication access is uh, the the user was able to log in into the salesforce using the multi factor authentication and the um, authentication is successful so this is how you can also go ahead and verify how the user has logged in into the um, user interface you can go to the login history and verify all the login history of the specific user and here on the top on the user page you will also be able to see the app registration salesforce authenticator app is already connected so it means that this specific user is will be logging into the system using the multi factor authentication and he has used the salesforce authenticator application he or she has used the salesforce authenticator application um that is how you can verify okay this specific user has used this and using this authenticator he will be he or she will be logging into the salesforce okay so this is what we have for today's session i hope you are able to understand what is multi factor authentication and what and all other steps that are required to enable the multi factor authentication and the rest of the verifications process until we come up with our next video session please do take care stay safe and have a good day bye bye